guys, you are welcome to another lesson in maths, and this is about ordering numbers, arranging numbers in order. When you are, when you are, when you are told to arrange numbers, there are two main ways you can do that. That is ascending order and descending order. Now, today we are going to take ascending order, and ascending order deals with numbers or things moving from small to big. Small to big. It's like it's like age from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the same way it's like numbering your numbering the, the, the things in, in the numbering the things in your size. You number from 1, 2, 3, 4. So the more you go, the bigger it becomes. It's, that's an ascending order of arrangement. Now, those of you who like reading the Bible, you notice that there's part of the Bible that says. Jesus ascended into the earth. So he was on earth and he went up. So ascending means from down to the top or from the smallest to the okay. So now we have a set of numbers over right here. We have 6, 3, and 8. 6, 3, and 8. Now among these numbers, which one is the smallest? You are good in that. 3 is the smallest. So we write three first. The next smallest, so the next smaller one is six. Then the next number left is eight. So we arranged numbers in ascending order. We look at the smallest. That is three, six, eight. Now let's move on to the next number. The number two has three set of numbers, and we have two thousand and twelve, two thousand and six. 2016. Now you notice these numbers are four digit numbers, and you can just observe and look at it. You can do that. I would like guys to take a systematic way of, of getting this place right. Now, to do this, we we'll use the place value chart. We're using this same sense. Now, the place value chart, we are going to extend it to harbor these three numbers, and we we'll compare them place by place. Okay, let's write in the first number. This is 2012. So 2102. Then the next number is 6002. Then the next number is 6102. Now, when I'm comparing the numbers, you start from the front. So we notice that the first set you have two 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 the meaning they are all the same the next set zero 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 they are all the same the next set you notice that some are one and the other one is two oh, sorry the other one is zero so zero and one so with this zero is smaller than one it's smaller than one so it means that the one which is smaller which is this is what you are going to you mean you are going to write this the second number first because that number has pulled itself to be smaller. So that number is 2006. 2006. Now let's continue for the rest. Now they both have one one and move on to the next side. You notice that this one has six and this one has two. So two is a smaller one. So you mean the first one will be the the first one will be the next one to write. So it means 2012 will be the next number to write. So after you've written this, then move on to the, uh, to the last one, which is 2016. So it means that 2012, 2006, 2016, when you, you write them together and you are looking at the smallest one, you notice that 2006 is the smallest, the next number is 2012, then 2016. It's very, very simple. Yes, it is. So you are going to do the same with the exercise I'm going to leave down here. Down Thank you very much.